Today, we're going to be covering JumpCloud's REST API and how you can leverage the API for either pulling information or managing your JumpCloud organization using this method. In this example, we can show what it looks like to create, edit, and remove a user account from our JumpCloud API using the standard curl methods. You'll also need your JumpCloud admin's API key found in the top right menu when clicking on your email address. This API key is used in every API call to JumpCloud in order to authorize the request. I've pre-written some bash scripts which contain a curl command that I've copied from the JumpCloud API documentation. We'll use these bash scripts to add, list, update, and remove a user record. Starting with adding a user via the API, you'll need to fill out some pieces of information in the request body such as first name, last name, username, and email address. Taking a look at our curl command I've already written, we're going to create the user Sarah Fay and have her be added to the JumpCloud organization. By executing this API request, we can then take a look at our admin UI and see that Sarah's account has just been created via the API call. We can then list all of the accounts within the JumpCloud org and see that Sarah's account will show up in the JSON API response. Next, we'll want to take down her JumpCloud user ID. This user ID is then used as a unique ID to update her account. In our example, we'll want to update her last name, job title, and other attributes remotely using the API call. Once executed, we can then check the admin UI or get the user API call to see that these fields have been properly updated for Sarah's JumpCloud account. Finally, we can also remove this user from JumpCloud with a simple API call as well. Ensuring we're using Sarah's JumpCloud user ID, we can remove her account as well by running the delete system user API call. That's it. We've just covered how simple and easy it is to run API calls using curl commands. You can also use any third-party application to interface with our API as well, such as Postman to create your own API request via a GUI. This concludes the tutorial on JumpCloud's REST API and how to interact with it in order to give you the options of administrating your JumpCloud organization.